Hi, my name is Cody, and I'm a Baldy Scholar at the James Monroe Museum in Fredericksburg. Like me, you've probably wondered, what would it be like to go on a blind date with James Monroe, our fifth president? Well, let me tell you a bit about the man. He was quite strapping, stood six feet tall, 189 pounds with blue-gray eyes, and was also a conservative dresser. In fact, for most of his life, he sported the buckle shoes, knee breeches, and cocked hat. You'd also be impressed with Monroe's education. He attended the College of William and Mary, spoke Latin and possibly Greek, and was an avid reader. That's not all, he's even a military veteran. What a catch. Now, throughout his 20s, he had a number of interested women, including a young lady uh, who didn't take to him as much as the other women did. In fact, in a letter about Monroe, she called him dull, awkward, and not as handsome as everyone else thought. So she was in the minority. Now, be prepared to get treated like royalty on your first date. Monroe was not only good company, he enjoyed French food and wine from his time abroad, but could also go for the southern style cooking of his home state of Virginia, especially fried chicken, rice, and biscuits. He was a great dancer, enjoyed music, and even enjoyed horseback riding in the hills of Virginia. Finally, be prepared to talk about politics on your date. Monroe was serious about government service and driven by the ideals of the American Revolution. He liked to accomplish something and solve problems, particularly when it concerned the success of his country. Personally, I think Monroe is quite a dish, and we look forward to whining, dining, and dancing with this fine gentleman. After all, there's a reason his presidency was coined the era of good feelings.